What we have in this cabinet here are what we call isotopic spikes. These are enriched solutions of, of one isotope of the element of interest for, for the analysis. They're not the isotope that's the radiogenically derived parent or, or, or the radiogenically decayed two daughter. Uh, they're usually an enriched ver normal isotope. So in the case of osmium, we're using 190 osmium and 185 rhenium. This is a mixed spike, and um, the purpose of the spike is to add it to the sulfide inclusion before chemistry, and then it gets converted and treated with chemistry uh, with the sulfide itself. In the old days, when you didn't have isotope dilution, you had to have complete transfer of all aspects of the chemistry at all times. And you had to basically make sure every mole or every atom of what you're analyzing came through. With isotope dilution, since you mixed an enriched tracer with your uh, unknown, you don't have to worry about the yield through chemistry. And you get uh, a final concentration that, that's very accurate, even though your uh, yield through chemistry might not be perfect. So. This is the one we'll use for the sulfide, and it's, we don't need very much of it, so we have a very small bottle of it. It's very dilute because the samples are very tiny. But you can see we have a whole cabinet here of, of tracers for all types of studies. Um, some of these go way back. Um, this is a lot of, uh, a lot of work to, to get these to be calibrated to the known amount. What's on the outside of the bottle is basically the concentration of the isotope in moles per gram and to, to make this dilution gravimetrically or to calibrate it is an awful lot of work. So we call this cabinet our family jewels. These are the family jewels in isotope geology.